Hey guys, what is up? It is I, John, and welcome to the Dungeon Crack YouTube channel, where I'm going to be doing some more Pokemon stuff today. Got a couple of Rebel Clash here. I got a PSA card to show you guys, which is a fairly recent thing I wanted to show you. Pretty cool stuff. And these are a bunch of singles that I'm going to be putting in an upcoming binder of mine, so we'll get to the binder here in a minute, but let's start off and end with the Rebel Clash pack. So... This is going to be pretty fun, um, got myself some sleeves, and just a couple of, you know, just standard top loaders, so let's go ahead and get into this pack, see what we can do about it. So, um, I think with this one you pull it this way, and here is the code card. So if you guys want to get in on that code card action, you know what to do. And so, yes, let's go ahead, pull one, two, three to the front, um, knock off the energy, and then let's see what kind of thing we can get into. So we've got Milo, Turfield Stadium, Lombre, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingull. Oh, I kind of like that's that's actually pretty nifty there. I need to open more Rebel Clash. I I absolutely got to say not to. The the last few packs of Pokémon since like Sword and Shield dropped has just been phenomenally cool. Barboach. Like this is almost hitting a renaissance. Palisand and oh, Appleton. Okay. I will take a rare. Or just a hollow. But, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, I like Appleton. I don't think I've ever got a card of him yet. So that's actually pretty wild, cool stuff. So we're going to set this off to the side for the moment. Go ahead. I'm going to quickly give this guy a little sleeve. Penny sleeve for the Apple Boy. Alright, so with this, with these, so these singles, these are kind of cards that I've gotten recently that I just, just like. They're not, I'm not sure about the value of any of these, but I do like the look of them. And they're actually going to be going into a binder, as I said, so I'm not actually going to be keeping them in these. We've got this Smeargle, I just love this card art, it's so cool. It's looking at its trainer, it's trying to have a good time, or maybe it's just looking at the camera, trying to break the fourth wall or something. Now this is just the Discovery Packs and Houndoom, but it's called Hundemon because this is the German version of the Houndoom, that's what he's called in Germany. And it's also KP for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure that's how it's measured. Um, I probably am going to put these back once I'm done showing you guys, but I do want you to get a good look. So there's the Magby. Pretty rockin'. This is not very exciting, so I'll just show you. Here is just a Magnemite. Out of all these, I think the Suicune might be my favorite. It's simple, but I really like this. It's a very cool Suicune. It's just so majestic running across what looks like the surface of a lake or maybe it's just like the shallows or something I don't know it's pretty cool this Shredinja is pretty neat it's pretty nifty and I gotta say this is definitely not the way I prefer my freaking reverses but I, I have a little bit of a soft spot for the old way they used reverse art and foils Foil arts and all that. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. And finally, we've got this Ludicolo. <laughs> He's got a nice little tropical sunset. Not sunset. Freaking that was. So you can John. Freaking focus, dork. Anyways, he's got a little tropical island scene behind him, just like he should. But I just mostly like this one for its face. He's just like a. Hey, Anyways, today's 
pools. So this is what I got today. It's pretty cool stuff. So we start off with a Shuck Daddy. Um, so there's a little bit of love from Shiny Mimic 218s Twitch channel. Very cool, very cool. Good friend of mine got herself a Shuckle and named it Shuck Daddy, and now every Shuckle is Shuck Daddy to me. So that's pretty cool. Um, whoop, little teaser there. We've got this Glaceon EX. It's absolutely adorable. And that's pretty much just... I, I absolutely love Glaceon. It's one of the cuter of the evolutions. Umbreon is, again, pretty much my favorite. Good boy over there. Just look at him. He's, he's such a good boy. There is a Mew V. So, kind of no real big reason. But, you know... Mew V. We've got Meloetta EX in a very, very cool looking one. I think this this is actually a very busy card. Um, I'm not a fan of that little shatter foil thing they got going on in this one, but everything else seems to be pretty much amazing. She looks like she's kind of laying on the brim of the card, like it's in a window or something. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got a set of Meowth V and Meowth V Max. Um, both of these are actually promos, but I didn't feel like going and picking up the thing that they are from because it's just not my not my thing, you know. It's it's kind of not my thing at the moment. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I just wanted the promos out of that more than anything else because I've I've got more pressing things I want to grab in boxes, which you guys will see very shortly on this channel. So yeah, those are pretty much the singles. So that's pretty much the lineup that is going in so far to the new binder. And I'll probably add Appleton in just because he's, he's a cool Appleton. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Okay, so, this PSA card. Now, I've always had a little bit of a fascination with the Japanese vending set. So, this is from Series 1's Japanese set. It is a awesome little Geodude, Mint 9. Now, these actually have a very strange, I'd say sleek texture to them. If you ever... See so one in them uh, like out of this, you'd know what I was talking about. But they are essentially out of vending machines only in Japan, and they have these amazing artworks. Um, they're identifiable by the little pack icon, which is an upside down standard Pokeball. So if you ever see these in like anywhere, just pick them up. They're all amazing cards. And they're all pretty much worth it. They go for four or five bucks a piece um, in the consumer market. But there's a lot of them that are actually way, way more expensive, though. So, again, anytime you see this pack icon on a Japanese Pokemon card, just grab it. It's amazing. And you will love it forever. So, yes, let's get on to our freaking Rebel Clash pack and see what we can get out of it. Alright, so here we are with number two. Let's go ahead, pop in to it. Now, I'm not feeling too lucky today because I've, I've had a simple day um pull the code card there you guys go hnc blah 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 there you go though whatever no matter what rebel clash is one of those things i like the cards i've seen out of the set what few i have and so i'm going to be opening a good bit so roly coley applin so it looks like we got his his uh big boy right here so that's pretty cool We've got Hatena. We've got a Pikachu waving at a jumping Magikarp. Look at that Pikachu. He's got a fat face. Excuse me, sir. Fat face. Look at you. Look at you. 
I'm sorry if <laughs> there's a lot of shadows going on. I'm going to fix this setup to be a lot nicer in the future. Um, Metatite. Oh, why'd that Magikarp go all the way over there? Ice Q as the reverse. I forgot to do the pack trick, whatever. And looks like we've got a general random rare. It's not even eh, but whatevs. Mandibuzz. We've got this, a speed energy, Pelipper, and Palosan, which I think, yeah, 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 okay, yep. We've got the reverse version too, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, not very much going on in this pack. I definitely, definitely love this Ice Q, though. I'm going to have to look up and see if there's any hollows, but I might just keep this Ice Q as part of the binder project either way that's pretty much it for this episode of the pokemon collection hopefully you guys have enjoyed thank you all so much for coming and if you'd like to see more videos based on dungeons and just general collecting definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button and all that stuff yada 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 helps out and yeah, just do whatever you want really but other than that i've been john and I've gone ahead to the dungeons.